All right, welcome back to more Shovel Knight, everybody. We're doing more challenge mode today. I also looked it up. Apparently, showdown mode is even longer than I thought. You unlock more characters as you go through it, and each one has kind of their own story, so to speak. So, yeah, I'm not doing that. So, we're almost done with Shovel Knight's challenges. We just have some boss fights left. Starting with the Black Knight, and then we go on to the uh, extra DLC fights, or Kickstarter fights. No, Nintendo Attic, I'm not doing more Showdown. At least not tonight. Maybe I'll give it another try in the future, but we're going to focus on the challenge mode. Is this going to be... Oh, man. I was really hoping this was the first Black Knight and not this version of the Black Knight. Maybe if we get him in, in the corner... Oh man, we do not have much time for this at all. Oh! And this is where we're going to need to use the throwing anchor. Oh man, ugh! Oh yeah, we're out of time. I think that the time is going to be the toughest one for this, because we have lots of mana, the Throwing Anchor's pretty good, and we've got quite a bit of HP, so... It's literally just going to be, can we do it fast enough? Oh, that's right, and we can... I keep forgetting we can deflect those back at him. We should definitely be taking advantage of that. Whoops. No! Uh, uh, uh. oh, oh, I was so close. <laughs> oh, I bet if you did it co-op, it would probably be a lot better, yeah. Well, this fight is off to a bad start. Ooh, this is good. Oh, okay. Got some extra hits on him when he was flying. That's cool. And way to miss with the throwing anchor. Okay, apparently the meteors damage you a full health point. Also, I did not like how he was running away from me. I feel like the bosses know you're on a time limit and they're like, hey, let's waste time. Look at, look at this little tool! He was constantly flying out of my way! I'm not doing co-op. I got no one here to co-op. Wow, this guy's annoying. He's, he always runs out of the way. That's his default thing, is I'm gonna run. Which is awful when you're on a time limit. Oh, this is great, though. Yes! Oh my gosh, I barely did it in time. He was so determined to run away. One second left, but we did it. Take that, Black Knight. Alright, rematch with Rees. Yes! We get the Chaos Sphere! That's like my favorite attacking thing. We also get a decent amount of HP as well. Look, look at that, he keeps jumping into the Chaos Orb.
They literally gave us, like, the best possible relic for this fight. Look at that! That was so easy! <laughs> Chaos Sphere, like, kind of trivializes that fight. <laughs> wow, they were really nice with that one. Thank you, Riz. Time to take on best boss, the Baz. Oh, and we get the flare up. Wow! Okay, for the later bosses, they are really generous with giving us a lot of health and mana. Oh, what the heck? I can't use... I can't use my regular shovel attack. I can only use either the pogo or the flare rod. Well, okay, why does it disable my regular shovel attack? Doesn't seem very fair. Man, okay, the Baz is tough. Okay, that doesn't seem fair that they can disable your basic attack for it. Like, it, as if it wasn't challenging enough. There we go. Bye, Baz. I wish we got to keep the money in the real playthroughs we did. Ah, well. Alright, Mr. Hat. My favorite of the Kickstarter bosses. Along with the Baz. I wish they did more of Mr. Hat. He deserves his own game, to be honest. Oh, We don't have any relics, though. Nor do we have much time. Alright, now he's in his Iceman phase. That was good, Mr. Hat. I'll give you that one. Plus, I love the music for these fights. Ouch. <laughs> You'll know what attacks he's going to do based on what hat he's wearing. So the knight's helmet is where he kind of throws the fire lances at you. Oh, no. That's where he's going to swing around. Wow, he deals a lot of damage. Ouch. Okay, you cannot redirect his ice attacks back at him. <laughs> Yikes. Hey, Sonic! What is up, man? How you doing? Still giving uh, Hitler what he deserves in Wolfenstein? Okay, we gotta be careful now. I did... I did not... I was not careful enough. It would be nice if we could duck under that. <laughs> Oh, I'm doing pretty well. Got back from vacation this week, now I'm back at the grind for the job hunt. Okay, well that, that seemed to work pretty well, actually. Can we keep doing that? <gasps> Ouch. Okay, he is tricky. He is definitely tricky. <laughs> nice! That's what I like to hear. That's the American way. I definitely should have died there, but alright. 
Oh, are we supposed to pogo out? Man, th these attacks are tough to dodge. Normally, I just kind of damage to take my way through it, but I do not have enough health to make that work now. I'm also not even paying attention to the time limit, which will probably be... bad. <laughs> Was I really at low enough HP that that killed me? I thought I only got hit, like, twice. Alright, Mr. Hat is proving to be the true final boss of the game. This strategy seems to work exceptionally well for his first phase, though. Oh, yes! <laughs> okay, that was great. No, I, I like that, though. That fight is tricky, but totally fair. I love that. Good job, Mr. Hat. But it's such a shame you cornered yourself. Phantom Striker, here we go. Alright, we at least get more health this time. I'm a little more familiar with this fight, because you have to be good at this fight for uh, Spectre Knight New Game Plus. Still taking copious amounts of damage, though. Pogo jump is definitely key here. I can't believe I first tried him with two seconds to spare. <laughs> yeah, that guy gets real nasty when you do Spectre Knight New Game Plus. All right, the big creep. I think the time limit's gonna be the tough one for this. Especially if he just decides to phase through a wall, like a little goon. Wow! I think the key for this fight is keeping those orbs together. This boss is being a little butt! <laughs> Please just stay. Oh. Of course it was the one we did last. Yeah. Yikes! Okay, can he not be such a prick at the beginning of the fight? Nope, he's doing the exact same thing. damage him, though. Oh, sweet. Alright, he's close. We just need to get him three more times. Oh, but we're running out of time! And he's dodging it! No! No! Come on! How did he dodge all of that? How did my... I, I do not agree with what's happening right now. Oh, the, no, the crystal balls split apart. Does he still have that much health left? I've hit him like 
20 times. Sure enough, this guy would not even be a little bit hard if it weren't for the time limit. Okay, yeah, that time was great! <laughs> wow, 20 seconds to spare. He, he was nice to us that time. Phew! Oh boy, I hate the Enchantress. Here we go. Two health?! You can't be serious! Mercifully, we have the throwing anchor. But two health is not nearly as much as I would like. Especially when she spends most of the fight hovering in a place where you can't actually reach her from. Oh, and you broke up your pattern just because you could. Oh yeah, this fight's going to suck! I'm gonna save the throwing anchor for when she's below the stage, because I can still hit her when she's there with the throwing anchor. I also get the feeling this fight's gonna be luck-based, based on where she throws her stuff. Rats. Uh, yeah. Out of all the fights in the game, Enchantress is one of my least favorites. Which is a shame, because it's, you know, like, the final boss. How did none of those hit her? She literally, I think, wasted about 30 seconds being at the bottom where I literally couldn't hit her, even with the throwing anchor. Yeah, this fight sucks. <laughs> Okay, I can do this. Do you literally have to, like, memorize the order of her fireball attacks, though? Because that really stinks if you do. Yeah, I figured that one was going to pot.
Thank goodness for the shovel pogo, though. Okay. I hate how her little dashes through the air are totally random where she goes. How does she still have so much HP left when she had, like, no HP when I was at this point last time? Did she just decide to go underground way earlier that fight? Because she should not have had, like, four full dots of HP left. Last time at the end she had, like, two? Or, like, one? Curse you, Enchantress. Ah, this fight stinks! Okay. Start pogoing her after her third volley of fireballs. Oh. I'm just gonna res- There's no way I'm winning that one. She wasted so much time running away from me. literally in the corner where there was no fire. My hitbox must extend beyond one block. Darn it, I was actually doing pretty well that time. Darn you. Nope. Again, she wasted too much time running- You barely have enough time for this fight because of how long she stays under the stupid ground where you can't hit her. Or at least you can't hit her without serious risk to just instantly dying. I hate how the Enchantress can do that at the end. She can just hit you and you die because of the way her blasts go. And it happens way more frequently than it should.
Well... Also, why is it when the blocks go up, they phase through you to trap you below? Also, I should not have been hit there. Have you always been able to f redirect her blast? Clearly you have. How okay. Maybe that's what I've been missing. <laughs> Her random dashes, man. They are so bad! Okay, new strategy. Well, new strategy wasn't very good. It is an option, though. Also seems to be extremely precise where you can actually hit the blasts when she's firing them straight down. I swear I was shoveling them. I did not move down there. I did not move down there. I stopped before I reached the end. Gosh darn it! She always dashes where you don't want her to go. Also, I don't like how she follows you now while throwing this- oh. Okay, you cannot swing your shovel rapidly enough to do that. And she just chucks you in a bottomless pit, because screw you. Again, she only dashed where I didn't want her to go. She never dashed in a place where I could pogo her from, but as soon as I let my guard down, she moved in the one spot I was. And I'm, I'm getting so sick of it. It always happens. So having to deal with the ground on fire and her blasts like that is a bit unfair. Okay, those are not worth shoveling. I wonder if I could pogo off of those, though. That might make it a bit safer. It does not appear that I can pogo off of those. If, if there was any rhyme or reason to her dashing, this fight would be much more manageable. Shovel Knight, please stop rubbing butter on the bottoms of your feet. You do not get to butter your shoes. OK, 
and she fakes you out like, I'm going to shoot something, look out, and then she doesn't. Okay, yeah, no po- there is no pogoing off of this. Even though you can knock it back by using every other shovel attack, the pogo does not work. Afraid I wasn't gonna make that jump there for a second. Darn it. Okay, I gotta figure out when to reflect her fireballs and when not to. I definitely like what I do at the beginning here. But I, I do feel like you have to get lucky with where she decides to do her dashes. Darn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was on me. Man, I can't believe it, but I feel like the battle toads are going to be easier than this fight. So after she loses four full dots of HP, that's when she starts doing the stupid I'm going underneath the stage. <laughs> oh, darn it. Man, she moves so fast at the bottom, it's really hard to time the pogos there. And if you screw up even once, you die. Darn it. I did not want you to poke on the dirt there, bro. Oh, really? She should have been in my range. I've also decided that the throwing anchor is just useless for this fight. The throwing anchor really is pretty much useless. You just have to, like, blindly throw it and hope it hits her when she's at the bottom. Shovel Knight, stop buttering your feet! I swear I am not moving the control stick when I'm near the edge, and he just moves off of his own accord. Doggone you! She literally randomly increased speed, so I wouldn't hit her. Shit. 
she tried to do it again. Why do you only have two health for this fight, by the way? Do that again. After she loses four and a half... Okay, after she loses four and a half dots of HP, that's when she goes into her dash. So I want to get her to down to... She's missing four dots. And then kind of get my full revenge in. Okay, that was really dumb. Okay, so like I want to do one additional HP right there. Now I want to wait for her to do another one of these and get them all reflected back, like that. Oh, talk, darn it, Shovel Knight! This is the worst. Come on, just run it! Man, I hate this fight a lot. The Enchantress has literally always been my least favorite fight, I think, but it, this is really just taking it up to unfair levels. I counted the anchors all miss! How? There's no way she could have squeezed between that gap. And why do those not push you upwards? the worst. Especially since she can just randomly change her movement while you're trying to attack her just to make sure you miss. So the fact that you can instantly die on this level is terrible. And Shovel Knight keeps buttering his feet, which is not okay. So yeah, this is literally all we're doing for the stream. I hope you guys don't mind. I DID NOT MOVE RIGHT! AT ALL! And I die. For reasons. K. 
can't risk it when she's doing that. Die, you witch. Alright! Remnant of Fate. Final boss. Oh yay, we get the propeller dagger. Hey, shield mate. Shield mate, how about literally lifting a single finger to help? Shield mate, you literally stood there and did nothing while I died. And then waited till after I died before you actually were like, hey, maybe I should help. I saw what you did in Showdown. This is completely unacceptable. I do not remember these balls homing in on you. Deal a lot of damage. Shield Knight, you're being helpful in the least helpful way possible. Okay, that's how you, you got a propeller dagger in her face a million times. Darn it. Because you're off screen, you can't see when you're about to land next to her to time the propeller daggers. Shield Knight, you are being literally the least amount of helpful that you're legally allowed to be. You are always trying to lift me in the air as far away as possible. Okay, well that's what we need the final boss to do. We needed to faceplant a bunch instead of doing its other attacks. I went real quick! <laughs> Way easier than the Enchantress. Oh my gosh, we've almost been streaming for an hour. Most of that was just on that one, but wow, okay. Was it in the Wookiee hole? <laughs> That's what it's called? <laughs> well, we're gonna meet Chewbacca and face off against Zitz in the Wookiee hole, whatever the heck that is. I know what this is. I'm sick. What? We only have 20 seconds? How are you supposed to take this guy out in 20 seconds with no relics?
I'm sorry, did they just cut my rope and instantly kill me? Because that's not fair. I think that's exactly what happened. Wow! So you give me 30 seconds to beat this guy with literally no help, 2 HP, and he has friends that can just kill me. Sure, seems fair. How? Like, I think even if you constantly spam him and hit him, like, every second, you're still not gonna have enough time. Unless there's a way you can insta-kill him. Okay, this is... this is actually insane. Maybe we can get the rats to, like, cut his rope? Also, if he does that, like, you just- you just die. You have to be right next to him to get enough hits in, but if he does his Wrecking Ball move, you don't have enough time to react to that. And it takes out a full dot of HP. This seems literally impossible. Like, no cap, this literally seems impossible. Yeah, if the rats cut... Wait, so if the rats cut my rope, I instantly die. But if the rats cut his rope, literally nothing happens. I think that's the only way. I think we have to figure out a way to get the rats to cut his scissors. Which is hard, because they only move after me. Yeah, like, he literally won't allow them to cut his rope. I tried to lure him to the bottom of the screen, and it didn't work. There is- okay, no. There is genuinely not enough time to take out his HP the traditional way. I'm not doing this. Battletoads, you will have to go later. I'm moving on to Plague Knight, who's a lot ha who's a lot more fun. Yay, Plague Knight! Oh darn, I almost did it first try. Was a little too greedy there. This one's much more manageable though. I did 
did not touch that spike! I was way away from it! Thanks for grabbing the ladder. I, I appreciate it. There we go. Yay, we dance! Wahoo! Gear grinder, oh no, not another gear level. Collect all the treasure before the clock counts down. S what? Why did I not reach that platform? Is this going to be one of those levels where we just need... Apparently you can't throw bombs on this level. This better not be one of those levels where you need to just know where all the treasure is going to spawn before it does, or otherwise you can't get it. Wait, now I can throw the bomb? What? You didn't let me throw the bomb when I my life was depending on it. This is this is balderdash. You have to collect all of it? That that's not possible. It's spawning too quickly. Wait, that you can't do that. There was like six stuff all at the same time and it only stays on for like 5 seconds. This is what I feared, isn't it? You have to just know where all the treasure is going to be. that. B.S. I grabbed that. Like, what skills are they trying to test you on here? Your patience? Because mine's running thin. you platform. And of course this level takes place on the airship, because it, that is the worst level. Um... What the heck just happened there? Did I just phase through the platform? Or did Shovel- or did Plague Knight also butter his shoes? This is getting to be a very bad habit with the pl people I play as. Butter is for your food, not for your attire. Apparently I ran out of HP. Yeah, I'm just saying, uh, I would not have designed a challenge like this. Not saying I know best or anything, but, uh, 
I'm just saying I would not have done this. And I've played my share of games to know when there's fun game design and when there's not. Excuse me. Like, when there are seven, like, six gems on screen, all at the literal polar opposites of the stage, all at the same time, and they're all about to disappear, how, how the heck are you supposed to be able to collect them all? Plague Knight, I love you, man, but sometimes you control like a wet sock. Like when you get stuck on platforms. I know these are supposed to be challenges, but they're supposed to be challenging for the right reasons. They mistook challenges with aggravation. At least for a couple of these. This is ridiculous. This is too- this is too much! You can't collect this all! Or maybe you can, but not if you make it disappear after, like, ten seconds. That's too much. When you put- when you put them all at the opposite end, you can't. Also, this takes a while. Why did my bomb burst not go off? Yay! I love this level. We don't even get good music to accompany it. We get like the worst psalm in the out of the main levels. Shots fired. Also, you need ten pairs of eyes to keep track of the order that all the gems appear in, or you just need to play it two thousand times.
Oh, you don't have to co- It said collect all the gems! I mean, I'm glad I won, but that is false advertising. Gear Grinder, collect all treasure before the clock. That one gets a big fat thumbs down. Fleet Flight, collect all the treasure, but don't stop. Okay, this one seems gimmicky, but it could be good. I stopped. Okay, so this is using the fleet. This is cool, because the fleet flask is not something you had to use properly in the main story. It was an option, but you didn't have to. Oh wow, when it says don't stop, like, you literally, you cannot stop. Okay, I actually like this one. One mistake does mean you have to reset, but it's a very quick and fun level, so... Not sure what to do about that guy. He wouldn't get out of my way. Not sure what to do about that guy either. He also wouldn't get out of my way. Yay! <laughs> okay, that one was actually a lot of fun. I like that speed stage. Took a little bit of trial and error, but it wasn't, like, stupidly precise. Scrolling through the rain, brave battles rain and dark- No, I know it. Psh, great. Oh, great! This is like the octuple whammy. We also get spark powder, which is like the worst powder in the game. At least we get spin burst, which is really good. Uh, I think the time limit for this challenge is just the fact that it's an auto-scroller. Again, I don't mind if you want me to have to move at a minimum speed. The issue with auto-scrollers, I take, is that it caps your maximum speed as well. Bye-bye. Why did I just plummet like a brick when I did my bomb burst? Well, that was rude. That was bad. It feels like this whole level, they're like, what does already hate? Let's put it all together in one. 
Well, he hates auto scores. He hates it when you can't see where you're going. You went too fast, Plague Knight! Wow, he rocketed way faster than the Bombers normally does. Actually, though, this bomb combo is pretty good. Spark Powder works well with sentry views. Hey, NCT Studio, thanks for the YouTube sub. I appreciate it. Again, not sure if they're even watching this stream, but I appreciate the sub regardless on the off chance you are. Are you serious? It knocked me that far, and it wouldn't let me move back, and it wouldn't let me use a bomb at all. Okay. Sure. No. No. Oh my gosh! Stop trying to screw me out of my victory. No. Wow! I... I was gonna say I can't believe this. I actually don't have a hard time believing it at all. You've gotta be kidding me! It just... Yeah! Sometimes it just does not let you move backwards in the air, even when you should be able to. Also, for the, like, 20th time, why is this an auto-scroller? There's literally no reason for it. Also, wow. Way to literally do absolutely nothing despite chucking bombs at the guy. Okay. I... I'm... I'm very sick of sh Plague Knight. Plague Knight's not just buttering his shoes, he's putting, like... He's freezing his shoes so they have ice on them, then coats them with a layer of butter, then dumps them all in tar. That's how slippery he is. Like, look at the... <sighs> I wish I could have the red armor. So badly. The red armor is really the only thing that makes Plague Knight useful at times. Because without it, it's like, oh, did you get lightly tapped by, a, like, the weakest enemy? Oh, you get sent flying five miles away. Are you for real? There is no way that was in range of both of those. The first one, yeah, yeah. The first one definitely would have been destroyed. Not the second one. That was not in range for that. Gosh! Can I have my vat, please? No vat and no red armor make me an unhappy camper as Plague Knight. They're both kinda necessary.
And you know what the dumbest part of this is? Like, I know I can beat it. I know I'm good at I am skilled enough to do this. And while there are times that I've definitely died because of my own lack of execution, it feels like most of these deaths have been just because the game said no. Like that, where you, you get hit by something you can't see, and then you just go sent flying six miles away off a bottomless cliff, and you literally can't do anything about it, because there's no way of getting back without any of the tools that the game is supposed to give you. Like, look at that! I got lightly grazed by a single energy ball, and it knocked me, like, super far in a completely different direction that it didn't even hit me in. It's very frustrating. Thank you. Again, I wish the challenges focused more on fun challenges and less on like, <laughs> how annoying can we make this? Missile Ride Mayhem. I don't like this. Defeat all the enemies while hopping from missile to missile. Oh no, I don't like this at all. What bombs do I have? Alright, I've got Lob Casing with cluster powder. Um, I don't think that should have blown me up. Wait, what? Why did that blow me up? I jumped right on top of it. Oh, this is gonna be even worse than I thought. Oh, this is going to be terrible having to deal with the mid-air controls with the moving platforms. Oh, this is this I can already tell this mission is going to suck. All right, new new plan. We're not bothering with the why. W I don't know why they gave us a lob casing. Probably just to screw with us. But that's like possibly the worst casing we could have gotten. Genuinely feels like they're giving us intentionally terrible setups, though. Oh my god, if you don't land perfectly on it, if even like a pixel view touches the side, then you are screwed. Hit me.
Okay, that part seems freaking impossible. Like, you're gonna get blown up, and the missiles aren't going to align. Also, the fact that it's a different distance to jump from the top. I'm gonna say that was intentional, and that that was pure skill on my part. I definitely did not luck out of that one. Oh, hi. There we go. Please tell me this is gonna be a... Level that doesn't go on for too much longer! I hate this a lot. Actually, I'm coming to a very important realization, folks. I am not enjoying the challenge mode. At all. Actually, I won't say at all. Some of the boss rematches, like Mr. Hat, were genuinely fun. Well, most of these obstacle course ones just aren't very good. And a lot of the boss fight rematches are also not very good. So I think next stream, we're gonna give the challenges a break. Excuse me, why did the missile leave without me when I was standing on top of it? I think part of the problem is, like, most of what we're facing, each of these stuff, like, on its own would only be mildly annoying, but having to play them all back to back to back to back to back, especially when you get a really, really, really bad one like the Enchantress rematch, It'll, it it takes its toll, and it makes me have way less patience. Like, if I just had to deal with one or two of these that were kind of annoying, that's not that big a deal. But when, like, 60% of them are annoying, it definitely ruins a lot of the fun. Because, again, some of them are pretty cool. Like, the Fleet Flask one was fun. just way less common than the ones that are not. Oh no. You've gotta be kidding me! I hate this. Bye-bye. Also, when I get frustrated, I stop playing at my best. Which is just for refuel to the fire. 
Pitch them and switch them. Let's try this one. Use the float casing to hit switches and reach... Okay. This one maybe could be good. Oh, wait. I, I read that wrong. It said float casing. And what I thought it said was float burst. Float burst would have been a lot more fun. Okay, float... Oh. Why do I get the feeling that this is about to get really annoying? Oh, why, why did it eat my jump? Okay, this one's actually kind of cool. I just wish it hadn't eaten, eaten my jump. Oh, whoops, the switches aren't solid. <laughs> whoops, that was my bad. <laughs> Not my smartest moment. Okay, when you hit the switches, it can eat your inputs, and I don't like that. <laughs> I bet you could do these missions, like, really quickly if you were good. Okay. Haha! <laughs> we didn't even have to mess around with that one down there. I don't know why they love having the challenges on Propeller Knight stage. That was almost dumb. Okay, see, that one was actually pretty fun. That was like a genuine obstacle course that wasn't really unfair in any way. It was just being good with the bomb burst and the float casing. See? That one was a win! Most of them are not wins, but we take the ones where we can get them. And you were wondering if we could get you were wondering if we could get through all of the challenges in one stream? Are you kidding me? No. We've only done 32 out of 105. I also think I'm going to have to look up how to do the zits in the... This one literally doesn't seem possible. There must be some weird trick you can do to insta-kill him that I'm missing, because... Otherwise, uh, we might not clear all the challenges. Like, we're not going for absolute 100% everything. We're just going for what seems fun and doable. And I think we're going to have to put the challenges on hold, maybe. Well, yeah. I think next time, depending on my mood, we'll either do New Game Plus or the speedrun. If I'm in the mood to go fast, then we're doing the speedrun, otherwise we can start and maybe even beat all of New Game Plus in one sitting. Because we do not have... New Game Plus is basically you play for the game again, but it's a little more challenging. But you start with all the stuff from your previous folder. So if you bought everything in your previous folder, you get to start with it all, which means 
we don't have to do any of the special bonus stages. We can just go to, to the Order of No Quarter and then the Tower of Fate. And we can just kind of ignore all the secret stuff. We can just go straight to the boss, so... Yeah! Hopefully we can beat it within the stream time, and if so, then we get that achievement <laughs> for doing it quickly. That's where we're going to leave it for tonight, though, folks. Sorry for the salt, but I think a lot of it was justified. Hopefully next stream will be a bit more enjoyable. We will also be streaming this Saturday more Sonic Heroes! And still don't know what story we're doing. It'll be a surprise. Have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless everyone.